the Deputy President, Your Excellency the Governor, Honorable Members of Parliament, uh, friends of Natasha, the clergy, and everyone else, praise God. Good morning. So my name is Joy. We apologize if we are really emotional, trying to understand us. I will read the tribute. So, Natasha, my baby, my love, most precious gift from God. I lack words to express how I feel about your promotion to glory. Back in 2011, October, when I learned that I was expecting you, I was so excited and glad that God had finally had my prayer, and your only sibling then would get a playmate. The journey through that pregnancy was so enjoyable. You made me feel and look beautiful. On 15th of May, at about 9 a.m. in the morning, I first held you in my arms, and my joy was made whole. I remember your first cry as though it were yesterday. I got pampered by your loving dad for bearing him a daughter. And to be honest, you were and still are my family's pillar, my peacemaker. I have seen you grow through the last 10 years, and your love for God, your brothers, and our family is one thing I hold so high of you, my dog. You defended us, the Monenes, with all that you had and would always make our days bright and joyful, just as your name, our Makeda, our happiness. You were able to make friends faster than we would, and today we are truly witnesses of what a great lady you are, yet at a very tender age of ten, only 10 years. When, when God blessed us with the chance to serve the people of Chukagambangombe and the Drakaniti County at large, Tasha, you were so excited and you would always tell us what you would love us to do for our people. During the past campaign, Mom, I got encouraged that even at our lowest in the hospital in India, you would still pray for your dad's will and kept assuring me that Daddy Atashinda Uchaguzi Hu, Mom, just continue praying for him. You at some point asked me, Kwani nani ndiyo mwishingu wa mamsi ni dad? Is it not dad? God will, God will still help him to win, to continue serving his people. When the results were announced, I remember even with all those tubes and everything, we were so overjoyed and longed to be home to support your dad with his work. This, to me, was, the, was so encouraging that our family would have someone to carry forth our legacy. Natasha would have been a very great leader if she were of age. So I cannot recall a day that passed without you reminding me of your love for our family, God, and the community. I feel challenged by how strong and gracious you are, my Makena. Your love for God is something that I shall forever hold dear. When your little brother Christian was born, you were so excited that finally you had gotten someone to look after. When you went to India six months ago, you always asked me to call home and find out how everyone was. Even at your lowest, you would afford a beautiful smile and nice responses to our key. Love you too. God bless you too. See you soon. You highly regarded your doctors and even wished to be like Dr. Divya and Dr. Tharma so that you would look after children. The entire Sana Hospital Bone Marrow Transplant Team considered you the most obedient and cooperative patient they have ever had handled. Your promotion to glory was such a blow, not only to us, but to everyone when whom you talk to, and whom you talk to, sorry. Your promotion to glory was such a blow to not only me, but everyone when you talked to me of wanting to rest and go to paradise, which you had dreamt about. That was so beautiful, where your father was the king, I was the queen, your brothers were the princess, and our special sister, Kangai, was still with us. I really begged you, ma, to hold on. But you told me, mom, you may shock her. Nataka nienden vi gudi. That was the most crushing moment of my life. Seeing you with a lot of agony, distress, breathlessness. It was devastating that my once very happy baby was in so much pain. I could do nothing about it. It pains me up to now. And on 31st October, when we went for the usual official reviews, as was the norm, 
Little did I know that would be our last walk to the hospital. The next few days, things moved pretty fast. And before I knew it, you were very sick and critical being entirely on life support machines. Mom, that was the toughest time for me. I, I wish... I, I pray to God that... I wish I would get another chance to mother you, my baby. Rest well, baby girl. Dance with the angels until we meet again. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. His Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Kishagwa, the House of Kraji, led by the moderator of the General Assembly, all leaders present, His Excellency, the Governor of Arakanidi County, all members of Parliament, the County Assembly of Arakanidi, led by the Speaker, my brother John Babu. All leaders from all walks of life, my people from the great Chuke Gambangombe constituency, the great people of Rakanidi, our friends who have stood with us throughout this difficult journey, Buanesu Asifiwe. Buanesu Asifiwe. I want to say that today we are celebrating. We are celebrating again in heaven because heaven has gained an age. My daughter Natasha was an angel, and Devin has gained. I want to lead a tribute to my daughter. And I don't think leading, leading to Tasha would even be enough because Tasha was our happiness. My baby girl, Tasha. I should be the one lighting a tribute. It should be you lighting a tribute to me. But God had better plans for you from the first day. From the first day I held you in my arms at the hospital, I felt I developed a great love and attachment for you, Mom. The day I held you, I had to school. For the first time, I was extremely excited. I watched you grow. I'd be a darling to your teachers and classmates. You had a special gift of making friends, even with adults. I want to tell you, some of the people you are seeing here from Nairobi are not our friends. They are Tasha's friends. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Tasha was a unique baby. The teacher who has lent the tribute on behalf of teachers here, teacher Judy, and so many of our teachers became our family friends because Tasha brought them home. We would be seeing grown-ups at home, we wouldn't know who they are, and Tasha tells us they are his friends, our friends. The church, ACK Mabley Church, the one that we have seen here presenting, me and Mama Tasha don't attend ACK Mabley Church, but Tasha went to ACK Mabley Church alone, became a member, and a very strong member of the church, and almost the only CK member of the church is here today, mourning one of their own. In this city where we live, Tasha is known more than all of us. When we started preparing for Ambalio, people would come to our home and say, we don't know this family, but we know this girl. That shows just a unique girl. I will never forget your morning goodbyes and that as you left for school, ma'am. When you found me at home in the evening, you'd come to my chair for me to cuddle you. 
you really love that and we used to call it kama baby baby uma you love swimming and i was your trainer i enjoyed swimming with you and your brother keith but i would get i would get tired before you we used to swim even in deep sea in the deep ocean that it was fun when i think about your death today and how much you trusted in god and that he was going to heal you i feel great pain but i'm comforted by the words in john 11 that is 11 5. i'm one person who believes that everything that is written in the bible has a meaning and the lighters of the bible when they were doing john 11 5 they recorded the feelings of jesus to us mother Mary, and lazarus and i believe this statement had meaning the bible says so jesus loved lazarus mother and Mary. and so as a family we believe even now god that you have taken our daughter you still love us it reminds me that even in this pain jesus loves us your illness came so abruptly everything seemed well and even as we traveled to India, I felt it for just for a short time. Days dragged on, and I held it gone to heal you. I saw you suffer my ego. I would come and campaign for one week, and be in India for one week. I looked at my passport yesterday, and realized that I traveled to India 16 times. You are so strong and with such a with such a clear and firm trust in God. The last week I spent in India with you now makes me realize that you are prepared to leave my girl. You clung to me and I was also unable to leave your side. One day in our talk you told me that from now on I want to always be by your side. You requested for some pocket money and the other that I and you requested that I take you to Madis when you leave the hospital. I never knew that this was my last day with you. Your Excellency, today you have fulfilled Tasha's wish. When I left India and she would tell everybody who called her that when I get healed, I wanted daddy to do a big thanksgiving and invite all his friends. You mentioned the present at you. I didn't know this would be the Thanksgiving. <laughs> the news of your death from your mother crashed me completely. I lost my father on a Tuesday night. And I was still mourning my father. When on Friday night, you passed on my car. When my father passed on, I drove from Nairobi, and when I was leaving Nairobi, Mama Tasha called me and told me Tasha has got critical and she has been taken to ICU. I got the two news at the same time. We drove from Nairobi. I talked to Mama Natasha from Nairobi to Embu on phone. We played. But I didn't want to tell her where I was going. I didn't want to tell her we had lost that. So I go to Embu. I received my dad's body. And when I woke up in the morning, the news of my father's death were all over. And I realized my wife would get it from social media. So I called her and believed her and she requested me to do something very funny she told me get your phone and record a message for your daughter you are the only one she can hear she will wake up when she hears you that was on Thursday and then Friday at one your mother called me 
with the news that you are gone. But as a believer, many candidates that Tasha, we have not lost you. We've gained you in heaven. You are in heaven, my God. I have cried and thought like I shall never fight happiness ever again. But being a believer, First Thessalonians 4.13 will always put me in check because we are told not to mourn like non-believers. I'm a believer and I know where my God is to be. Because of you, I have learned that grief is love. There are words people used to talk about that I didn't know what they mean. When I heard people say they have grief, I couldn't understand. When I heard people say they are feeling emptiness, I couldn't understand. But I can do it now. I've learned that grief is love. And nothing in life is permanent. I will love hard and I will love deep. My age and my pleasure as well. I know that you are now with your maker. I promised to forever love you and cherish our beautiful memories. We miss you too much, Mom. Mom misses you. Kid and Christian miss you too. Your Excellency, and I have three children, and I told everybody in this gathering never to tell me I had three children. I have three children because Tasha will always be my girl. Tasha can never be past tense. And it's a coincidence that Your Excellency you have a son called Keith and Christian. My sons are called Keith and Christian. <laughs> Kadai misses you. In life, we got a special daughter, Kangai, who took care of our girl since she was born. And when she went to India, she went with her. She has been part of us, she's our family. It was an honor and privilege to be your dad, and I look forward to the day I'll get to see you and hold you again. Fry with the angels, my happiness. If we knew Tasha would die, then it wouldn't be an act of God. Because in the book of Deuteronomy 29:29, we are told that the secret things belong to God. So this belongs to God. Thank you. Tuwapigia makofi wanapo enda kuketi. E, ningependa kuwakaribisha wale ambao 